the United Kingdom will help Eastern Europe donate tanks to Ukraine, Boris Johnson confirms as Britain sends armoured vehicles. Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Chancellor of Germany Olaf Scholz have met to discuss coordinated action on sanctions and additional military support. The United Kingdom is helping Eastern European countries donate tanks to Ukraine as well as sending its own armoured vehicle, Boris Johnson has confirmed. Britain will send 23-ton armoured patrol vehicles to Ukraine as ministers step up the country's supply of military hardware in the face of further Russian barbarism. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace confirmed the United Kingdom will be sending protective armoured vehicles, such as the 8-metre-long Mastiff, as part of increased support for Ukraine. He vowed that Britain will do everything to help defeat Russian President Vladimir Putin, whose increasingly depraved aggression against Ukraine. There is more to do, Britain will do more, it will contribute more, Mr Wallace said as he visited Romania, which borders Ukraine, for talks. The Mastiff is a heavily armoured, six-wheel drive patrol vehicle that can carry eight troops plus two crew. According to the Ministry of Defence, it is suitable for road patrols and convoys, with a maximum speed of 56 miles per hour. It can be armed with the latest weapons systems, including 7.62mm general purpose machine gun, 12.7mm heavy machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The Mastiff was designed to withstand high-grade improvised explosive devices used by the Taliban in Afghanistan. The Prime Minister met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Downing Street to push for more coordinated action on sanctions and military assistance. Speaking at a joint press conference, Prime Minister Boris Johnson revealed the United Kingdom was ready to help countries like Poland send tanks to Ukraine, arguing that would be better for Kyiv's military because they are more likely to be interoperable with its existing armour. Mr Boris Johnson said, What we are now looking at doing is finding ways we can support friends and partners who want to send other types of equipment that may be useful to the Ukrainian, it may be more useful to support the Ukrainians by backfilling and allowing some of the former Warsaw Pact countries to supply some of their own armour. Britain is increasing its weapons donations by another £100 million including more Starstreak missile and anti-tank arms as well as precision munitions capable of lingering in the sky until directed to their target, Mr Boris Johnson added. The United Kingdom and Australia are already providing some armoured vehicles to Ukrainian forces alongside T-72 tanks being shipped over by the Czech government, Western officials have confirmed. Slovakia also confirmed it was sending an S-300 air defence system. The West is now providing protected mobility vehicles, I think both from the United Kingdom and Australia as well as the announcement earlier in the week that the Czech government were providing T-72 tank, officials said. They suggested Ukraine would need more anti-tank and anti-air weapons, already provided by NATO allies, as well as the armoured vehicles to replace depleted stock. Ukrainian forces have also captured Russian vehicles which, officials said, can be more effective given troops are familiar with operating them and will not have to learn how to use complex kit. During his Downing Street press conference, Mr Schultz insisted Germany was making the maximum possible effort to avoid the use of Russian oil and gas. He said, we are doing all we can and we are doing a lot. I think it's a very strong decision that we took to go away from the use of fossil resources. We invest into becoming a country that will be just using renewables for electricity. He warned that the need to build new infrastructure to import gas from overseas was slowing down the pace of the transition. Mr Boris Johnson also hit out at China's support of Russia during the invasion of Ukraine, saying, there's a very interesting question to be addressed and that is whether they really want to be associated closely with what is being done in Mariupol, in Bukka, whether they really want to be associated with in any way condoning or in any way supporting the regime of Vladimir Putin. And I think as, as the days have gone by, that question has become increasingly difficult for China. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said, The striking of civilians and critical infrastructure is a war crime. These were precision missiles aimed at people trying to seek humanitarian shelter. The Defence Secretary said Western sanctions against Russia must not be lifted to allow Mr Putin to go back to his superyachts and normality. 
Whatever happens in Ukraine we must not let the international community forget that. What Putin is doing in Ukraine is creating his own cage around himself, he said.